Good morning. Uh, the story that I'm going to share with you that was given to me by Loreen and uh, Jillian reminded me of one of our lifetime members of Harrow United Church, Gwen Salter. Gwen was always reaching out to people. She wrote hundreds of letters of encouragement to people. She was always keen on new ideas of how we could help others. And one of her special ways of reaching out, what she called was pay it forward. Whenever she saw a need, whether it was a pair of mittens or someone who didn't have, a, uh, didn't have enough money to buy a ticket for the turkey dinner, she donated funds from her Pay It Forward account. It was her way of making her life worthwhile by living and helping others. And my story is titled, My Year of Kindness. In January 2013, I decided to try something different from my typical list of New Year's resolutions. Instead, I vowed to do a unique random act of kindness every week for the entire year. I wanted to feel connected to the community around me and to help bring small moments of joy to others. Little did I know that the person I would end up helping most would be me. <clears throat> I was 25 years old, finishing up my last semester of graduate school, with zero job prospects upon graduation. I felt isolated and I living halfway across the country from my family and close friends. I had just gotten engaged to a man I loved, but whose controlling and angry behavior was growing steadily worse. Looking back, I think my kindness challenge was a way of filling up my inner reservoir of giving to the authentic core of my spirit week by week until I built up enough strength to address my life head on and make the hard decisions I decided to make. That first week, I cleaned out my closet and gave a large bag of clothing to a women's shelter. The next week, I donated canned goods to a food pantry. I scattered lucky pennies on a playground, wrote thank you notes, baked cookies for my neighbor, and left quarters on laundromat machines. I bought flowers for a colleague who aced her thesis defense and reached out to friends I hadn't spoken to in quite a while. I didn't realize it at the time, but little by little, I was weaving a web of community. And in March, when everything came crashing down, because my engagement ended and I had to move out of my apartment, and the final draft of my thesis was due the exact same week. It was this community that came to my rescue, helping me find a place to stay, making sure I was safe, sending me supportive emails, and inviting me over for dinner. Life had more changes in store, good things, yet still change can be hard. I was awarded a creative writing fellowship at San Jose State, so after graduation, I moved to the San Francisco Bay Area to work on a novel. I also began teaching writing classes for kids in the afternoons. I got involved in a church community and made new friends. Through all the newness and uncertainty, my weekly routine of doing random acts of kindness was a comforting anchor. My year of kindness taught me many things. I learned that you do not need a ton of money or time to have a positive impact on the world around you. All that's required is an open heart and a little creativity. Asaph was right. No act of kindness, however small, is ever wasted. Even small acts of compassion and joy, as simple as a smile, can make a difference. I learned that I, if I'm in a sad or grumpy mood, the quickest way to turn my day around is to be kind to someone else. Being brave and putting myself out there is always worth it. Yes, it could be scary to strike up conversations with strangers and step outside my comfort zone, but I was always left with a smile on my face and a grateful connection in my heart. Most of all, I learned faith time and again I was surprised by wonderful coincidences and kind deeds that others did for me. Whether it was a cup of coffee from a new acquaintance, 
a hug from one of the kids I taught, or an out of the blue card from an old friend, acts of kindness never fail to boost my spirits. We truly are all connected. My year of kindness officially ended in 2014, but I've continued doing random acts of kindness. Last year, I celebrated my 27th birthday with 27 of them. It was my favorite birthday to date.